So hello everyone, I'm here with Kat today, we're working together in the ground and graceful in Getzko and I came in here uh, because I would like to learn about how to set it on my own yoga studio which is my huge huge dream and Kat already achieved it so I think it will be very valuable for all of us to hear some tips about the yoga business or small business because yoga is a business, isn't it Kat? Uh, yes. Hi everybody. Yes, yeah, so I guess that's my first tip where I'd like to jump in. If you are going to set up a business, whether it be a yoga studio, a cafe, anything like that, it is a business. And what I mean by that is when I first set up the yoga studio, I was just like, no, this isn't a business, this is just my love, my passion, it'll just run itself. I don't need to try that hard. And well, of course you need love and passion, but the fact that you have been blessed to have this opportunity to start your own business, you need to feel grateful that it is in fact a business and run it as just that. You see it as like your little baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what are your tips for starting? Yeah, so my first tip is, even though I've just said it is a business and to run it as a business, don't just open, well you can if you like, but don't just open something to be a business. I mean, open something because you love it and you feel passionate about it. The fact is, if you open just a business to make some money, yeah, great, you'll make some money, but you probably won't end up feeling super fulfilled and that will show in your business. Whereas if you open a business, like a yoga studio, because you absolutely love yoga and you want to share it with the world because you think it will improve humanity, the community at large, then your passion will shine through and that will be felt by everybody. So that's my main number one tip. Um, <laughs> number two tip is give customers what they want. So one thing I did in the beginning that was wrong is I thought it was what, what I liked, what I wanted. So I wanted, say, a certain style of yoga. I liked that. I was running the studio. It was what I liked. That's not right. You need to give customers what they want, what they like, and then they will love you because you are giving them value and then they will return. And that's how you will build, I don't like the word following, but maybe brand or just, just a good business basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, next tip would be um, one thing that I've really learned along the way is for you to be the abundant energy in your business. So even if you're not making a lot of money, always be generous. So what I mean by that is, so say for example, you go in a coffee shop and you order, I don't know, say it's a toast and a jam and you run out of jam and then you want another jam and then they say, oh, that's a pound for the other jam. There's a little bit of them, they're operating from like a feeling of lack. Whereas if you go into a cafe and they're like, have you got enough? Do you want more jam? Do you want more of this? They call you by your name. You know, they're operating from an energy of abundance and you return and you like that place. And same with the yoga studio, you know, chances are in the beginning you won't be making loads of money because that's just the nature of a business in the beginning. But, you know, be like the grandma, the grandma who never had that much, but whatever she did have, she could make it go around 50 people and she could just share everything. Yeah, there's always enough jam from grandma. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and then, what else have I got on my list? Um, consistency. So another mistake that I really made, honestly, I've made so many mistakes and I have really struggled because of it, but now I feel like I'm can see back on where I went wrong. Consistency is key. So there's a part of the human brain, and um, studies have shown that likes to feel safe, that likes to know what's coming. And if you can meet that human need, again, you'll do well in business. I was totally the opposite. Every month I would change the timetable. 
because I thought, oh, it's nice to be like um, varied and surprising everyone. Well, no, it doesn't work. Be consistent. And you've really shown me that as well, being here already. You're like, cat, the times of your classes are a bit muddled. And I know that if I just make that really consistent in time, that will have a positive effect. Yeah. So consistency. Um, the same for the classes, just building up slowly, slowly progress instead of a lot of variety. Yes, but at the same time, do have new things. Like for example, this weekend you did a new community event and everyone loved it because it's probably not something that is happening in the area. Um, so I guess you always have your consistent foundation and then your exciting projects coming yeah. from there. Um, can you remember what my other points were? <laughs> so consistency and then was... You didn't write it. Um, yeah. So another one would be you. Um, so really invest in yourself. Make sure that you don't see your job just as a job. See your job as a craft. So if you're making coffees, make beautiful coffees. If you're giving yoga classes, give beautiful yoga classes. And even if you don't, even if your customers, you know, don't really notice, which they will, but even if they didn't, do it for you because, it, you know, it will fill you with a sense of meaning and purpose. And that will mean that you never get bored at your business. You know, you will always feel inspired. Another one I just remembered is staff. It's such a big, big thing. The people you employ in your business can help you to make or break your business. I never used to believe this, I just thought it was about me and the other people would just, you know, fit alongside if you like, but you have to employ people who are on the same frequency and vibration as you. Please don't get swept away by like shiny credentials and CVs. Feel it inside of you and go on attitude over experience every time and then I feel like you just won't go wrong and then the new people that come into your business will you'll you'll grow together rather than having tricky situations. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it can happen. Yeah. And that honestly that I think that's all my tips. Um yeah. <laughs> And what would you say about being scared at the start starting a business? Yeah. How to through it? Yeah. Um, so fear is a great a great propeller towards your dream, isn't it? Because initially we had fear. So if we saw a, a tiger, we'd run away and save mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, and I know a teacher, um, Pema Chodron, um, I don't know if I pronounced her name very, quick, very correctly, but she's a great Buddhist teacher and she says, you know, if you see a fear, you have to, have to, have to go into it. And I feel like if you have a dream and you're mm -hmm. fearful, go into it, do it. What have you got to lose? It's when you don't do it because you're fearful that you will live in regret and feel like you didn't quite didn't quite give your life your all. So if you've got a fear, what I'm saying is just let that energy move you even more into it. Do you feel scared? <laughs> no, that's that's nice. Uh, nice thinking about fear. Then that's just energy, your power, your fuel yeah. to start to kick up, and then just ground you and push you away from it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Um, yeah, and I feel like now is a time when people are starting to dream again because we've had coronavirus and it's just been such a, a strange time. The news of the vaccines come, we kind of can see the light at the end of the tunnel, mm -hmm. you know. So now we can reopen up and dream again and that, that's, that's what we, we need to do, isn't it, to keep moving forward. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, and just one last thing, if you do have any questions, like I'm no expert, but if you did have like a question where you're like, oh, but what about that specific thing about running opening studio, what about that, then feel free to maybe drop a comment underneath here or send a message and I can try and answer if, if, if that would be helpful. Okay, that's a good place to stop. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for your time. Okay. Bye. Bye.